Five seasons. Here he is with our Jared Greenberg in San Antonio. Uh, is it weird? Black and silver? Uh, no, I think it's growing on me. It's definitely growing on me. Um, every day. You know, I'm first time putting a jersey on, so that felt good, but definitely growing on me. You've always talked about playing with motivation, but is there now a, a different level of motivation that you approach a season with? Oh, yeah. Probably my highest by far in my going in my 10th year. Every year I try to find motivation, whether if it's, you know, countless things. It can be the sm most smallest miscellaneous thing to the biggest thing. I think this time around is definitely one of them things going in my 10th year of my biggest motivation. Um, and, I, and I treated my whole summer workout with that motivation and chip on my shoulder. So, you know, I'm, I'm, it's making me a little bit more anxious to get out there and play. Is there something that, like, you focus on that drives your motivation now? Um, I think the hunger and eager, eagerness to win, you know, at the highest level. You know, um, especially being in a great Western Conference with great players every single night. Just going out there every single night and just playing at the highest of highest level and competing against the best of the best. You know, uh, I think this time around is, it's going to be a lot of fun. You've been a, a great voice for, for people the last year, you know, opening up. Um, but you've also sent out some interesting social media posts, some cryptic stuff, right? Uh, revenge, the debt dish best served cold. Mm -hmm. What was that directed towards? What is that? So Godfather is one of my favorite movies. Okay. Which one? One and two. Okay. They neck and neck. Um, it was a quote. I was watching Godfather. Um and that just popped out to me when I was watching Godfather, and you know, it just it just resonated with me in terms of, you know, just in the standpoint of overall, just going out there playing. It's not directly towards one one specific thing, right. you know, just in a general aspect of going out there, wanting to compete, and want to go out there and and and, and show why you one of the best players in the league. Why your team is one of the best players in the league. And the only way to go out there and do that is to go out there with that mentality. Wow. Okay, th that makes a lot of sense. People want to connect it to somehow the Raptors. Or, yeah. With that said, though, do you have that date circled on your calendar? Are you very much looking forward yeah, to the I mean, two I'd times? Yeah, I'd be lying if I I'd be lying if I said I didn't have it. Uh, you know, um, I think for media reasons why I circled, you know, um, one, looking forward to just going back back there for the first time you know I've seen a response that Vince got you know um, when they um, did you know kind of his his tribute um, and just the fans you know that's all the yeah. fans all knew my whole career so just going back and being able to feel that energy from the other side you know is something that definitely look forward to it's not all in a bad way you know why them dates are circled just more so just being in front of the fans really giving off that energy that, that that the fans gave to me. So, and experiencing it from the other side, so. When we see the adjustment you made in your game last year for a variety of reasons, do you look back at that as like that was forced because that's what the team really asked you to do? Or did that feel natural? Is that more, can that be a step in you growing your game to play a little different? I was just growing my game a little differently. You know, a little bit was, was talked about you know try this and add this but it was something that you know as my career got later in my years is something I want to be able to expand on and be greater at you know and be able to add the whole package to my game that I've been doing my whole career and you know that's one of the final aspects to try to put everything together with how I play so I try to incorporate that a lot last year and just to get more comfortable with it you know I always know I can do it but I always feel more comfortable doing everything else so just adding that getting comfortable with that so it could be second nature have you figured out yet how that fits what you need to do in the offense that coach Popovich likes to run um I think through this next week I'll definitely be able to get that sense um and be able to thrive off that and understand you know what needs to be done how it needs to be done um in the best way I can maximize my abilities to make everything work you know I think it's all going to come together um just fine you know, um, and I'm looking forward to it. Have you ever played with a guy like LaMarcus Aldridge? Um, no. I want to say probably the closest. You know, I played with Chris Bosh my rookie year. Mm -hmm. You know, it was one of the fours that was definitely dynamic. Um, 
on the perimeter. Um, but nah, other than Chris, Lamarcus is probably the best, you know, um, power forward I ever played with. Last thing for you. Do you think Kyle Lowry misses you more or you miss him more? Where is this in the bromance level right now? It depends what's going on <laughs> during the day. If if it's if it's some entertainment he need, he definitely miss he definitely miss me because if 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 he needed a laugh or if he having a bad day, he'd definitely come to me for something to to, to want to joke about. Well, tomorrow we appreciate you taking some time. Best of luck this year. Stay healthy. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thanks tomorrow. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Good luck.